you know what? Uh, I was going to put uh, the beanie on for today's vlog, but I think I'll uh, leave it off and leave my uh, my hair kind of crazy today because uh, tomorrow I'm finally going to be uh, getting it cut. So um, I'm looking forward to that very much. Um, yeah, I'm just finally going to take the razors. You know, I just I get that way in the summertime. You know, sometimes because my hair grows like a weed. Sometimes I'll just go into the bathroom with the clippers and just shave everything off. So I think that uh, one of those days is definitely coming tomorrow. Um, yeah, because, you know, especially, you know, just getting off work right now, being hot and being tired, you know, I'm like, nah, I gotta, uh, I gotta get this thing off my head, you know, go to a much shorter hairstyle, got to, uh, got to shave too, because I haven't in, uh, in a couple of days, but that's okay, I like my, uh, 8 o'clock shadow, I don't know about you guys, but I like my, uh, my, uh, my facial hair, I don't like a, uh, completely clean shaven face, I've never liked that, ever since I could grow facial hair, basically, I've always kept, uh, something, uh, maybe a little stubble or something on my face. I just hate a clean shaven look. So today, I mean, I'm I'm good, you know. I mean, I'm feeling I'm feeling all right, you know. I was, uh, to be honest with you, it, it was it was another one of those days where I was just kind of like, you know, bumming out about you know YouTube and stuff like that. But uh, you know, that's kind of like an everyday occurrence for me now. You know, I just I just kind of wake up and I ex I'm expecting you know something to happen and uh, and it never does. And you'd, you'd be surprised at even though you know YouTube is like a side project basically, you'd be surprised at how much that that can get to you because when you're pouring that amount of creativity into something and there just there isn't that many people paying attention you know uh, and I'm talking about all my channels you know I'm talking about like everything I do um, it, it's surprising like it can get to you it, it really can you know it can really bum you out sometimes um, but you know as of late I've learned to kind of just like um, let things go you know I've kind of learned to be much more laid back about YouTube and not you know worrying about subscribers and plays and stuff like that just as long as you know I have a nice hearty dedicated fan base and they're watching my videos and they're enjoying my videos you know that's really what keeps me going every day is knowing that I've got that small fan base there you know spread across my couple of channels and that you know it, it is growing you know it's, it's growing every single day and um, I, I love that you know I love being able just had to have YouTube as this platform to do all kinds of creative things um, but you know uh, something that was on my mind today here's something that was on my mind today at work that I wanted to discuss with you guys because it's something that I, I strangely enough I'm thinking about now that I'm out of school um, and I was thinking about it a lot in school but I didn't have a, a vlog channel um, in my uh, community college of course I, I go to uh, my local college up here my community college and um, you know, something that I've always uh, I thought was kind of strange, actually, and that a majority of people actually don't find strange, is kids uh, going to college right after high school. I'm actually not for that. I'm actually against kids going right to college after high, after high school. It's because of what I notice, especially in my community college. I mean, there's a lot of problems with community college and my personal views on community college. Um, I'm definitely going to do another video uh, coming up um, just discussing college, like community college and stuff, and how it didn't work for me personally, and why I kind of think that it might be a waste of time uh, at this point in our uh, in our society. Um, but you know, one of the main things that made me think that, one of the main reasons. Um, I kind of believe that is because it's this attitude that I noticed in school. These kids, they come fresh out of high school and then bam, they're in college without any kind of a break. They might have, you know, they might take the summer off or something like that, but then they're getting a job or, or, or something like that. And what, I, what I'm saying is there doesn't seem to be any transition point because, and I can only speak from experience, because for me, what I did is I didn't go to college directly after high school. I went into the military. Um, now, would I advise people to do that? You know, n you know, no, it's not for everybody. You know, I found out quickly that it wasn't for me. You know, and it's not going to be for everybody. But what I loved, what I absolutely loved and what I treasured about that military experience was that it taught me something that most kids, like 90% of kids that I was at community college with, didn't have. And that was culture and experience. I mean, the Navy may have been a... Uh, you know, a, a, a strange, uh, sometimes terrible experience at times, right? But, you know what, at least I got a lot of culture and experience from it.
you know, I traveled a lot. You know, I really did. You know, you know, seven different countries I've been to. You know what I'm saying? When I was, you know, 19, 20 years old, I was making these trips. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. I really am because I went out there and I got world smart and I got culture smart and I got people smart before I made the decision to go back to school. And I really think that that will help. I know a, a lot of people in a lot of different ways that we don't even think about right now. Um, and I've seen some people talk about this before, you know, I've seen some like some other blogs and uh, some other videos about this stuff before. And I think that there is a really, really good point here that people are, are missing is because, you know, and not everything can be learned in a classroom and in books, you know, like you have to go out there and you have to gain worldly experience. You have to gain life experience, right? Because kids in these community colleges especially, you know, I can only speak for community colleges, right? But from what I see, kids are coming in there and they're not serious. They have no direction. They don't know what they want to do. Half of them don't know what they want to do. Um, you know, most of them are just texting and talking in class and not paying attention and not passing in homework assignments and not doing well on quizzes and then eventually failing out of class and coming back and doing it again or, you know, they collect their money and they drop out and they, they, they you know, we, we never see them again. You know why? It's because these kids don't have any life experience. They have no world experience. They haven't gone out there and actually done anything with their lives yet. Instead of sending kids to college for four years first, why don't we send them traveling for four years first? Why don't we send them to other countries to do things with people, to, to you know, schools and, and uh, programs that help, you know, homeless people and starving children and, or, or wildlife refugees or something like that. Just go do something with your life. Go do something um, creative or, or helpful or resourceful, you know, something like that. Go save the planet for a couple of years and then by that time you're ready to settle down and enter into the world of college. Um, at least that's how it was for me. Again, you know, I can only speak from my own experience, but that's exactly how it was for me. I'm thankful, very, very thankful, that I didn't go right into college after high school. I went into the Navy first. And again, I'm not saying that the military is the way to go. I'm saying that traveling is the way to go. Gaining world experience and life experience and culture. Those things must be attained before you start to settle down because then you're just rowdy. You know, and, and I, I, again, you know, this is what I did. You know, I, I'm not saying that, you know, once I exited high school and I went into the military and I was, and I was you know, goody little two-shoes. No, I partied as soon as I got out of high school. And that's what kids do is they get out of high school, it's party time, but it's also party time slash college time. Well, that doesn't work. You can't party and go to college at the same time. You can't stop kids from partying. Partying is necessary. That's part of world culture and world experience. That needs to happen. But you know what? Send them traveling for four years. Send them to other countries. Send them to go do stuff first before they come to college. Have them gain a little culture. Then they're ready to come back and they're ready to settle down. Then they've already done their partying. I mean, look at how terrible colleges are. The terrible, and I'm not saying that the colleges are terrible. Look at the terrible reputations that colleges have nowadays. The, the colleges are not known for their degrees. They're known for their frat parties. You know what I'm saying? What? You know what I'm saying? It's, this, this is college. This is, this is education to further the country. You know, um, it's the future of the country. We need to take it more seriously. And oddly enough, one of the ways we can do this is we have to let kids free for a couple of years before they go to college. There has to be some kind of system in place where these kids, they can get world smart before they get book smart. Uh, because I think being you know, world smart comes before book smart in, in my book. You have to have life experience before you sit down in a classroom because it helps you immensely. That's what helps your brain grow and develop, is developing things that are coming from uh, just being alive. You know, there's a lot of life lessons to learn just from going through experiences and from being alive. Um, so yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for this vlog today. Uh, just, you know, a few things that were on my mind and one main thing that was on my mind. Um, uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day today. You know, but leave your comments down below, of course, on everything that I discuss. You know, let me know what you guys think. Um, right now, I'm figuring out what I can do with my last couple of hours here. Um, you know, I'm off work a little bit early, but outside is still, uh, there's a giant summer fog bank moving through Portland. The weather has been insane 
in Portland, Maine. I don't know how it is for the rest of the United States, for you guys out there, or the rest of the world, but the weather here in this part of the world has been insane. It's been insane. There's like, it's the summertime. It's hot and humid outside, like I'm sweating right now. It's foggy outside. Like, like it's like London, foggy outside right now. And it's hot and humid and the sun is trying to come through. It's, it's so weird. Um, but yeah, you know, um, of course, uh, I'm probably just going to be fooling with my camera actually for the rest of the day. I'm trying to figure out how this, why this thing keeps going out of focus. I guess it just needs an intense amount of light because I don't have the autofocus or anything like that on. Um, so um, I'm going to be figuring that out for the rest of the day and figuring out my schedule too. Um, I got uh, two movies to see, one on Thursday night, uh, Valerian. I can't wait to see that. And then... Uh, uh, Dunkirk on Friday, which I'll be doing movie reviews for on my other channel, and then I believe, um, if I can, I believe, I'll, because I have Thursday off again, finally, and I think I'm going to go ahead and go over uh, to Long Island, finally. Uh, we'll see how that works out. <laughs> my trip has been deterred so many times, uh, but I will be over there soon. The island's not going anywhere. It'll be there. Uh, but yeah, guys, go ahead and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below on the subjects in today's uh, video. And until the next time we meet, guys, take care, and I'll see you later. Oh, did you hear that? See you later.